Hey, Vinyl Community, what's going on? Boy, is it good to have basketball back. Man, I gotta tell you, I I was going crazy there uh, for a couple months. Anyway, um, I hope everything's going good with everybody. I hope everybody's gonna stay safe, have a happy non-end up in jail. Uh, don't get messed up New Year because we don't need that. No, I'm ju I'm, ju I'm just kidding. More bad jokes. Um, first though, uh, to my sister Natalie, if you're watching, hi, welcome, everything. Yeah, all that usual noise. Um, okay. So... I had another idea for a thread. Was going to write to all around Christmas, and obviously, if it's been a, you know, it's still around Christmas, but after Christmas, I've got one of those things where I get ideas that pop into my head at different times, and they don't always sync up. Like a day after I posted the first one about the concerts, this popped into my head. It's like, oh, hey, that's an interesting idea. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And the question is, um, show some of your rare records. And, of course, that can mean multiple, you know, that is, a rare record has many different uh, definitions. Of course, if you check eBay, um, def Leopard Hysteria, um, if you've got an original copy, that's rare. Um, no, it's not. Um, not to pick on um, Death Leopard fans, but it's just a point. Because it, it happens with everything. It seems like if you've got an original record, even if there was 15 million copies sold, it seems to be rare. Um, but anyway... Um, Okay, basically, now anybody that wants to answer it can take it really any different any different ways. I'm not going to restrict any any anybody. I'm going to leave it an open interpretation. However, my interpretation of rare record and the way that I will be directing the the responses, I will be responding in the same video uh, to get it to get everybody the idea of what I'm what I'm meaning is. Basically, limited number pressings that have, you know, that have, they have a limited run, they're numbered, or such and such, you know, um, we're only, and I only have a CD example, but st like stuff that was, again, returning the concert idea, it, stuff that was maybe only available, um, you know, at a concert, um, you know, with, because it's got bonus tracks or, the, the, you know, it's like a tour edition or something. Um, if you've got Japanese or uh, pressings from other territories that have songs that are not available in the U.S., that, that counts. I, you know, it, it, it's pretty much open-ended, but it's basically, you know, Records that, you know, have only a, 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 you know, they're basically, they're, they're numbered editions. Um, you know, if there's an actual definitive number, um, you can do, you know, you know, reissues also, um, again, they have to be numbered, um, you know, for the most part, you know, special editions, that, that kind of thing. Um, now let me go grab a couple of examples, uh. Excuse me a minute. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
Oops. Okay, just one more. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, so let's see some of my definitions of rare records. Now, um, speaking of, and I won't show it because I'm because it's a CD, but I do have uh, a three-track um, Walls of Jericho for those of you that that, that know them. Um, the three-track Walls of Jericho um, demo EP that was released um, only on the uh, Ozfest 2006 tour, and which I think the album was Trigger Full of Promises. I think um, maybe not. Maybe that was one of the tracks. I, for, I forget it now because I don't have it in front of me. But that again, that's another example. Um, of, of what I'm talking about, um, you know, released only on that tour and never again. Can't find them. Um, it was cool because it had some trading cards and other things. The music was good also. Um, curiously enough, I never have yet to pick up the album. I won't say never, but have yet to pick up the album. Uh, okay, so let's move uh, on here. And I've got four of them um because i just want to keep the limited number um i could have gone on and gone on and gone on um because of the collection of albums from a certain band i have many limited and numbered albums um but i i, I took it easy on you guys this time okay so um and i'm back up enough so maybe it'd be easier to see um this is a Band called uh, Warbringer. This is um, uh, the first release. Um, they are a uh, thrash metal band. Um, one of my favorites um, in the uh, you know last several years. This is a 2008 release. Um, the War Without End. Um, they also have. Waking in the Nightmares, which I do I do not have yet, and they just released another album, but again, the name escapes me. Um, and the interesting thing, um, it's got a uh, again uh, another criteria bonus track, um, vinyl only, called Onslaught at the end of it. Um, it's cool. The sticker even says that it's limited. Um, this is a red vinyl release, limited to a thousand copies. Um, this issue still sealed, and um, it's going to stay that way uh, because I don't. You really can't find too many of these. I, I actually was able to pick this up. I um, at a record store in a college town. I picked this up in. Uh, Irvine, California, I think. Um, yeah, um, I picked up uh, Rest in Peace. Um, that, that same day. Um, but yeah, th this is um, really cool. Cool band. Um, badass. Um, you know, new wave of uh, thrash. Um, yeah. 2008 Century Media. Cool stuff. Um, okay. And I'm pretty sure you can look up um, if you search for these albums, you can find them open. All of these that are that are lunar are actually all sealed and will all stay that way. Um, because again, it'll be difficult, you know, at this point to find another copy. I mean, this, you know, I mean, it's doable, but not without spending an arm and a leg. Um, Testament, Formation of Damnation, um, Nuclear Blast, 2008. Um, one of my favorites from these guys again limited edition gatefold pressed on nuclear green color uh, includes exclusive poster and patch 
and there's also a there's also a patch in this one I forgot to mention um, I'm doing this off the top of my head so I'm forgetting some of the uh, specs on, on everything um, yeah I've seen the color of this um, really cool like I said one of my favorite albums so I picked it up um, and just absolutely brilliant um, cover art um, I saw them on one of the tours supporting this album um, I actually got a shirt somewhere. Um, I saw him on the uh, Metal Masters. Um, Judas Priest, Heaven and Hell, Motorhead, and Testament. Awesome. Um, first time I ever saw him. And my neck was sore for several days after that. Um, yeah, and Ace of Spades had something to do with that also. But um, anyway. Uh, okay. Getting close to the end here. Um... Autopsy is Severed Survival, one of my favorite uh, death metal bands and albums. Um, Peaceville 20th anniversary release on Blue Vinyl, I think it is. And um, as you can see, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but that says 560, and these were limited to 2000. Um, I just remembered I do have one more let me go grab it real quick and um, yeah so excuse me I saw this last night and thought that this would be a good addition and just forgot about it right now until I just remembered um, I may have shown this before or not but it's um, another now I have done the research and was never to, able to get the exact uh, actual release numbers on this, but there are some uh, interesting facts on this as well. Um, okay. Now, obviously, this is a record, but some of you may not know what the fuck this is, so I'm going to give you some knowledge. Uh, maybe. Um, okay, this is the soundtrack to the uh, Rockstar video game Red Dead Redemption. Um, Again, red vinyl release. Uh, found this in uh, Phoenix, actually. Um, paid a little bit of money for it, but come to find out, the game came out in 2010, and interestingly enough, this was only released on vinyl. So they, this does have a limited number of copies. They're not numbered, and I, I do not actually know how many numbers, but I did, I did that read. I did read that in my research and couldn't get anything else on that. But um, yeah, that's really cool. And again, I've seen, seen the color of the vinyl. And that's really cool. Um, great soundtrack. Great game. And in fact, I just recommended it to somebody that, the other day. Uh, picking up another game. Um, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff here. Um, okay, and last but not least, of course, no video I do would be complete without a mention of this band at least once. Um, okay, this is uh, Slayer, Live with the Ritz in New York in 90, 1986. And um, this is limited edition to 150. I have number one. Got this from a guy up in Canada. And still sealed will stay that way again um, you can find what the actual records look like and again this is part of a collector piece um, yeah it will not be opened um, but definitely definitely cool um, I've seen some of the performance from the soundtrack to the apocalypse bonus DVD and came up with some of this may not be the same performance on here but another live at the ritz 86 so it probably is um pretty much all your standard songs from that pretty much your standard stuff and everything and i am out happy new year to everybody stay safe metal <laughs>